Street's energy management system creates the most flexible and longest lasting LED luminaires available. Flexibly programmed and dimmed with additional thermal monitoring, our systems can extend luminaire life as much as 50% more than current industry standards and save an additional 25% in energy costs. Simply by taking advantage of the nightly needs of your lighting system, you can provide full brightness during peak usage and then later, say when vehicular, parking or pedestrian traffic is lower, reduce the lighting and energy usage to not only save money, but extend system life. IntelliStreets takes advantage of the existing power supply and in many cases can even reuse your existing poles. You can achieve a fully featured system by simply changing the street light. The intelligence of the system resides in the unique dual band radio system and miniature computer with data storage capacity, essentially quite similar to an iPhone. IntelliStreets processors are in each street light and communicate with each other in a mesh format. So even when poles are damaged by vehicles, the system works around the problem. Our luminaires monitor the system energy costs, grid power or off-grid power, and system integrity. Reports can be generated nightly, and internal LED indicators let service techs know what fixture needs tending to, even though the location is logged in the report. IntelliStreets is so smart that it can know where the sun is and turn off one side of the street before the other. The IntelliStreets processors store and analyze data, soundtracks, announcements, commercials, and even video files. IntelliStreets luminaires achieve a breakthrough in urban media design by integrating a patented full-range speaker system, one of many firsts for IntelliStreets. Unique to IntelliStreets is a digital LED banner system. For densely populated, high-profile urban areas, this LED banner system can be a key component to maximizing civic awareness through advertising coming events, road rerouting for parades, and street maintenance. This system links to the Amber Alert Center as well. Advertising for the central business district shopkeepers and national brands can create a significant revenue stream. Also available are digital street signs, which are an extremely economic means of achieving timely routing for theater and stadium districts, even assisting in parking lot directions by connecting to a digital parking structure system or via many forms of interfaces available through IntelliStreets. Imagine a seamlessly integrated urban media system that begins with solid energy management and achieves all aspects of public communications. For bus stops, rail stations, people movers, whatever your communication needs are, IntelliStreets is there to make it a reality. Unlike wired methods where many miles of cable are required to install light, sound, and video control, IntelliStreets is a simple and robust wireless network that requires no underground costs. Perfect not only for urban areas and suburban shopping centers, IntelliStreets is the solution for all college campuses. From game days to parent weekends and for every purpose in between, IntelliStreets provides a 24-hour area-wide solution to communicating with the student population. From wayfinding and bi-directional voice communications to soundtracks and exceptional lighting solutions, IntelliStreets is the world's first and only outdoor media solution. Available in a variety of architectural styles and accompanied by a robust platform of digital wireless solutions, IntelliStreets also enables a myriad of Homeland Security features. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, October 28th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is my website, ggnonline.com. Uh, DDarko2012 is my YouTube channel. There's a poll here. You have three days left to vote. It's basically on um, the people that uh, help brainwash uh, you and your children. Um, and tell them how to think, what to think, and how to dress, and how to act. And you can go in there and vote in there um, right now. Uh, well, it's offline, so, but either way, a majority of the people are saying that they are aware. Okay, you can go in there and check that out. Otherwise, I'm going to keep moving here. 
Um, okay, so we saw this uh, little video here. Uh, most of you probably have already seen it. I wanted to cover it last time, but uh, I just had so much news. Again, I'm backed up with news. And it says here, IntelliStreet's Big Brother or Big Idea. And they didn't really go too, uh, too much into the whole uh, Big Brother aspect of these lights, did they? They kind of they just uh, sold it as what? Being green? And it's going to go into these little eco villages that we've uh, that we've talked about, um, smart communities and that with uh, smart meters and that and um, uh, you know eco fascist uh, ratting uh, each other out for um, you know throwing out certain types of trash. And but they didn't really talk too much about the secu homeland security aspects, did they? No, because then that scares people. Uh, but that's the real reason for it. I mean, the best way to uh, get Big Brother is to sneak it into public infrastructure, utility infrastructure, and this is the best way. These little street lights, right? And uh, not only are they wireless, and they're going to be emitting radiation. Um, but also you have what you have these speaker alerts, right? So and it, it talked about what is uh, tied in with the. Um, uh, whatever the threat level thing is, it's. It, I mean, we all know it's bullshit, right? Uh, most of the threats come from the governments themselves, so it's, it would be like a robber telling you that they're getting ready to rob you. Um, we also have proximity uh, sensors, and then pedestrian counter. See, they were talking about, ooh, when the sun can come up. Well, if it can predict, if it can uh, sense when the sun's coming up, it can probably uh, sense other things as far as people go. Then pedestrian counter. Ooh, they're going to count how many uh, uh, pedestrians. But then look at this. When I look down in there. Um, we have this, environmental. This stands for uh, chemical, biological, radio, radiological, nuclear, and um, I'm not thinking, I can't think of the, the last one right now, but uh, it's a sensor for that, and uh, we've heard about that, what on highways and that, these little um, radiation um, uh, sensors on the sides of the roads and that, and Homeland Security, of, co of course, heads that up as well, seismic sensors, and uh, push-to-talk system, so... Yeah, so you can go in there and check that out. Big news, though, is, uh, you know, in Tennessee, what, they have these uh, DHS, actually, Homeland Security, on the highways right now, and they're not going anywhere. They're just, I think they're just going to keep them there. Um, but as that's going on and they're invading people's privacy, pulling people over, got these checkpoints, um, I believe now in Michigan they're doing it. And we have a uh, sobriety checkpoint may be held in Perry County in November. So October 21st, 2011, says state police said they may conduct a DUI checkpoint at an undisclosed location in Perry County in November. Says drivers who appear to be driving under the influence of alcohol or controlled substance will be tested. And this is, of course, like what? Um, uh, like uh, back in the day when they didn't have radar and they just, what? Oh, it was the cop's word against yours. Oh, he was speeding, right? So, again, bullshit. St. Louis County Police to conduct sobriety checkpoints in November. And though this is the biggest story because, what, it was October 28th. Officers with St. Louis County Police will be conducting various sobriety and safety checkpoints. See, they're always there to keep you safe on St. Louis streets and highways. So it's not just, highway, or it's not just highways, it's actual streets. Checkpoints are being held in effort to reduce the number of intoxicants and unsafe drivers officers uh, and don't worry about those um, those uh, uh, police cruisers that race about 100 miles an hour through residential areas putting everyone's at life at risk to do what oh to catch someone because what oh they sold some plants or something or uh, they're doing some other uh, they turned and on red or some bullshit law you know it's basically there's no logic behind it it's just basically to take money from you to take your resources revenue collectors is what they are and uh, that's what they're out there to do. So obviously it's not to keep you safe. Um, so we have here, it says officers participating in the enforcement have additional training. Ooh, additional training in the recognition of motorists who have had too much to drink, i.e. they go in there and get plastered, just like when they have cops smoke pot to see what it is to be high and are under the influence, oh, see, of illegal drugs. So there you go. First time I'm reading this, this is how I always do it. Um, links will be posted with the headlines in YouTube's video description. And this is how I like to pre present the stories. I'm reading this for the first time with you, and I try to make a story of, out of all these articles, tie them together. Um, it says here, in addition to drunk driving and impaired driving, officers will also issue citations for seatbelts and other violations. I wonder what those other violations are. If you don't like them fucking with you on your off time, and your property traveling, hindering your travel, 
Um, you know, obviously you're a possible terrorist, especially if you have a Ron Paul sticker or you're a returning vet, you have a, a veteran's uh, license plate or something like that, or an NRA sticker, watch out because you are a possible terrorist, but, you know, you could also be committing other violations. So DUI task force, ooh, a task force now uh, announces east side checkpoint. So this is in Ohio, Franklin County DUI task force has announced a sobriety checkpoint for Friday evening. This is October 28th. And then we have October 27th, Haverford police to have a DUI checkpoint for Saturday night. And uh, yeah, that's a uh, Hartford, um, sorry, Haverford Township Police. And it says the police department is part of the Northern Delaware County DUI task force, another task force, which includes a total of six municipalities. And you can go in there and check them out. Um, but yeah, so uh, of course they're going to go in there and they're going to tell you all the th ways they're going to violate your fucking rights. And that's, sorry I'm saying the F word, but it's just, it's just ridiculous story after ridiculous story. And it can, we continue to go forward down this path. And then there's people sitting there, um, you know, protesting against capitalism and everything is all upside down. And, um, so yeah, it says sobriety checkpoint laws in October, 2011. Yeah, you can go in there and actually check all the ones, uh, Illinois, Indiana, um, several hundred per year in Illinois. That's a communist state of Illinois right there, between 15 to 20 per month, weekly, by state by state. Uh, okay, so then we have this, Big Island Police conducting DUI checkpoints and roving patrols through Halloween on October 27th, 2011. So, of course, it's to keep you safe, but it's to keep the children safe. So, if you're not for these uh, invasions of your privacy, you're not for keeping children safe. State troopers offer Halloween safety tips. Oh, the Tennessee Highway Patrol like to encourage everyone to take extra precautions for a safe and happy uh, Halloween, which, of course, was what brought to you All Hallows' Eve, brought to you by your own Luciferian worshiping cult um, known as the powers that be. So as we worship their little holiday and their gods and their deities and send our loved ones out uh, to go to strangers' houses, yes, um, you know, we got to keep them safe. So... And uh, the Tennessee Highway Patrol is going to be there to do that. And don't worry, they already have DHS on the highways, like I said. So they're already in gear, ready to go. Los Angeles Police Department, October 25th, Halloween, driving under the influence enforcement, talking about sobriety checkpoints. Then we have uh, DUI checkpoint Friday night, plantation, and uh, talking about discouraging impaired driving. Then we have second Midland Police uh, Force to hire private cops and it says a second midland police force is hiring a private rent-a-cop to work on a murder investigation american travelers to tsa this is epic electronic privacy information center uncovered more complaints uh from travelers about the tsa uh, airport body scanners and it goes on there and says that the documents reveal the travelers are angry and frustrated about tsa screening procedures express concerns about radiation risk to children the elderly and those with special needs ah that's eugenics Children, elderly, and people with special needs. That's the target, right? It says here, airport body scanner trials return a high rate of error, so they're not even accurate. Then China to step up social media censorship uh, in response to these microblogs. And what? Oh, to th a threat to punish dis uh, dissemination of harmful information. Facebook is building a shadowy profile of non-users, says complaint to privacy watchdog group. That's right. It says here, Facebook heads to the Arctic. Uh, and why? Oh, to keep all of their um, uh, uh, all of their servers cool. Now think about it. If they have to go all the way over there uh, to do this, imagine how, how big this is going on. This is a big deal now. It's because it's going on in North Dakota, in the Dakotas, and Wyoming, and Montana, where they're storing these huge servers of Google and Facebook. What does that mean? These are supercomputers that are going to be and mainframe servers that are going to be holding just a crap load. Of, of information on every single person that is unfortunately inhabiting this planet right now. And I say unfortunate because it's an unfortunate time. It says the rogue website bill introduced in the U.S. House to stop online piracy act would target foreign websites for takedown. And uh, yeah, it goes in there. It says a service provider shall take technically feasible and reasonable measures designed to prevent access by its subscribers located within the U.S. to foreign infringing sites. So Big Brother considers tracking drivers every move. And this is, of course, a measure would require American drivers to equip their vehicles with a GPS tracking device to measure vehicle vehicle miles uh, traveled. But not just the miles traveled, 
but also um, where the person actually went. Of course, because GPS, Justice Department proposed letting government deny existence of sensitive documents. Police chiefs authorize undercover police officers to give false evidence in court. Then we have Canadian Army spying on natives, says report. We have five NYPD officers arrested in sting operation for smuggling illegal guns in contraband. Then Flying Humvee gets off the ground as U.S. military plans first all-terrain bulletproof waterproof craft by next year. And of course, DARPA with your taxpayer uh, dollars is going towards, and of course, they're going to sell to a private company, which will then, what, ask you for taxes to... F Thank you.